Hey, in today's GIMP editor tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect yin yang logo in GIMP. Now, logo design like this is usually better handled in a vector graphics program like Inkscape, but it can be done in GIMP also. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a new empty canvas of 640 by 480 pixels. I want to change the background color on this canvas to cyan, so I'm going to choose my bucket tool, change the color here, click to cyan, then click OK. Make sure fill hole selection is chosen, then just click anywhere on the canvas. Now before I create the perfect yin yang logo design, I'm going to need to set some grids on my canvas here. You can create a grid by simply clicking on the ruler and dragging out. And you can get rid of any grid by simply clicking on it and dragging it right back onto the ruler. Now what I want to do is create a series of grids that are 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And I want to make them each 50 pixels apart. I want to create my last guides first here at 300 pixels, then go to 250, 200, 150, 100. Okay, and now I have all my horizontal guides, and I want to create my vertical guides now. So I come to the side ruler, grab and drag out to 300, 250. 200, 150, 100. Okay, now I have my guides that cover a 200 pixel by 200 pixel square with guides covering every 50 pixels in between. Now I want to choose my ellipse select tool and come down here and choose fixed aspect ratio 1 to 1. I'm going to make a selection covering the full 200 by 200 pixels square. Now I want to change my foreground color to black. So I'm going to choose my bucket tool and change the foreground to black. And just click inside my circle. And now I have a black circle. The next part of this is I want to make half my circle black and half my circle white. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to choose my rectangle select tool and switch the mode on my rectangle select tool to subtract from the current selection or I could do that by pressing the control key. I want to select half the circle here. If you make a mistake in your selection you can always move the edges around to correct your location. Now I have half my circle selected and I want to change that half to white switch my colors around choose the bucket fill tool again and click anywhere on the half circle now go to your ellipse select tool again this time we're going to create a smaller circle in the top half of the larger circle go to our bucket tool again and fill that with white repeat the process for the bottom half of the circle but this time fill it with black. Now we're almost there. We just need to add the two dots. Click your ellipse tool again. This time you want to choose the option expand from center. Come up to here and select right in the middle of where these guidelines meet and make a circle that is 30 pixels by 30 pixels. Choose your bucket tool. Fill that in. Back to the ellipse select tool. Make another circle here, 30 pixels by 30 pixels. Choose your bucket select tool. Make sure you have white now. And fill that in. Go to select none to get rid of your selection. And just like that, you have your perfect yin yang logo created in GIMP Editor. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.